Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Con continuing my Divinity Original Sin 2 campaign, where we are on the Reaper's Coast, and we just fought some disgusting monsters. The Voidlings. There's different types of them now. They're uh, the exploding kind. Which weren't a problem, to be honest, because they kind of blew up away from my dudes, so I don't really mind that. But they did... There was another one who looked like, uh, I don't know... I don't even know, like, um, what's the name of that movie? Um, shit, I can't remember. Like, it was something troopers. There was a bunch of uh, space marines against aliens, and they were uh, fighting these things. Damn, now it's going to annoy me. Now that I can't remember it, it's going to annoy the fuck out of me. Oh, we found a pearl just sitting here on the ocean. Is it starship troopers? There must be starship troopers, yeah. There we go. It looked like one of those monsters from that show, from that movie. I think they made a second movie of that. Wasn't it Starship Troopers 2? Which was just horrible. Absolute garbage. Oh, so this is uh, the road. A Magister Caravan. I remember one just like this picking me up. Could have been a shipment to Fort Joy. But what happened here? What's with the music? It's a Magister co Convoy, so I don't really care. Let's go talk to the survivor here. White as driftwood salt, the dwarf flinches at your approach, yet she holds a short, clean blade aloft. Mm. Her fierce stance can't hide the trembling of her fingers. Back! Back! Magister, I'll kill you, just like the rest of them! Uh, glancing at her clean blade, say you know she didn't kill anyone. She slumps, all bravado draining from her. No, 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 no. I, I've never seen anything like those beasts before. Are, are they gone? Do you mean the void walking? Those, yes. Worst ones I've ever seen. Ripped through the magisters. The dwarves, dead, dead, dead. And the sorcerers, sorcerers, so, gone. The void walking are stealing the sorcerers now. You see no sorcerers bodies, yeah. Her eyes stare vacantly into the distance, glassy as marbles. It's not cold, yet her shivering is relentless. I, I don't know. I don't know. Do I'll do this beard. Loha, my b b boss Loha will want to know what happened to them, but I, I can't remember. Really? Surely you must have known what happened to them. No. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'll do strength. Ah! Let go of me. Let go. Please. Those things could come back at any moment. She pulls herself free of your grasp. Terror in her eyes. She stumbles away. Okay, so there's not going to be any use of her. But just don't get yourself killed. Where are you running off to? Alright. So we have a whole caravan to loot. That's interesting. But before we do that, I want to see some other stuff. Because I know that looting of the caravan is going to take a while. Severed head. So, Sabeel. You twist your head around as the Magisters haul you away. Your wife and two boys stand in the doorway, helpless. You commit their faces to memory one last time. This was a sorcerer. Wendy cries out something to you. You tell yourself it was, I love you, or we'll wait for you. But the truth is, you didn't catch it. The farm recedes from view behind you. That was a sorcerer. White tainted disembodied hand. You remember a cold childhood in a no-hope fishing town, bullied mercilessly by a dwarf named Loha. With no other prospects, you sign up as a magister, eager for the power denied you all your life. Huh. So there's a magister here who became... There's a, somebody who became a magister after being bullied by a dwarf named Lohar. She said her boss was named was Lohar. Was she not a part of this convoy? From the dark, you stare up at the thin slivers of light visible between the floorboards. Shadows ripple across the slivers, accompanied by heavy footsteps. Uh, Magister footsteps. This sounds like somebody was aboard a boat, right? Beneath the floorboards. Or he might be in a house underneath. You're probably hiding in a basement? Wood creaks above your head. One of them has paused. Your breath catches in your throat as you wait for him ah. to move along. But the hatch is suddenly yanked open. Light floods you, blinding and accusatory. You hear only one gruffly barked word before the hands seize you. Gotcha. Okay. Key. 
That goes to my nice. dude. Work, work, work. That's all there was in Driftwood for a dwarf like you. Until you got involved in the anti-magister resistance. Mm. Then the work was still there, but also purpose. Purpose worth dying for. Okay, so there's like a dwarf anti-magister thing. Disembodied foot. It's nice you can get like you can get a sense of what happened here just by eating a bunch of body parts. Collared by magisters in the far north. You were forced marched to this foreign land. A moment of hope as a grinning dwarf removes your source collar. Seconds later, void woken death. So there's a dwarfs going around attacking caravans. They removed the collars and then the void woken attacked. So were these magisters not killed by void woken? They were killed by the dwarf dudes. Maybe? You stride past the chain sorcerers and climb onto the caravan without complaint. As you settle onto the bench, you offer Relic's blessings to the Magister Guard. He offers only a bleary-eyed stare of disinterest in return mm. before shoving the chain sorcerers aboard. As you watch them cower, you cannot help but feel annoyance. After all, don't they know they're going to be saved? Ah, so this guy was a believer. New skill, Armor of Frost. Okay, interesting. Wait, Torso. Eloisa was the prettiest girl, not to others, but to you. Her luminous eyes shone brighter than the moon. The day you collared her for Fort Joy, you wept every tear you had. You never cried again. So you were forced to collar what? Your own daughter or just somebody you fancied? Interesting. Severed head. Warm red wine flows down your throat. Mm. The languor of a tavern evening soothes you. Suddenly, shrieks rend the night. The magisters have come. Warm red blood flows down your face. Okay, okay. So, uh, I have a feeling going north is the right way. I want to see what's over here before I loot everything there. Before we get started with the looting. So, I think I've scoured everything over here. Augmentor. Strength, okay. Shantarel. Thank you. Uh, power and Prut. Oh, there's a there's a gang walk over here. A gangway. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Let's talk to this kid. Come what? On, come on. That doesn't sound promising, does it? Is there a dragon in the keep? I see a dead dude here. What is over here? I heard somebody roar. <gasps> Noxious Void Vulcan, level 9. Immune to poison and acid. Okay, interesting. She probably heals some poison, but she's not an undead. Strength Finesse 2020. Ah, some scary shit. Why are you trying to get the. The little boy lobs a stone across the river. It makes a long arc before plunging into the water below. What are you doing out here? Huh? Please, you have to help her. There yeah, was a, a fight. Some dwarves attacked some magisters and there were sorcerers too. And, and then the bumps came. Those void things. They killed everyone. And my mom got them to chase her. And she went across the bridge. And then she raised the bridge. And, and, and she told me to run. And now she's stuck over there with them. Tell him his mother did what she did to protect him. He should go seek shelter, like she told him. Not without Ma. Family doesn't just leave each other. You're not. In, you're in no position to help here. Uh, say he's going to get himself killed. His mother would want him to go somewhere safe. If those things get to Ma, they can get to me too. Are you going to help me? I'm going to do everything I can. Maybe. Maybe you can cross the river then. Ma lifted the bridge, but there's got to be another way, right? Say that there, there. Say that if there's a way, you'll find it, and if there isn't a way, I'll make one. Yeah, yeah, you'll make one, and I'll. His gaze shoots to the ground. He grabs a small flat pebble and chucks it across the river. Again, it lands in the water below, well before reaching the other side of the cliffs. I'll keep distracting him. Uh... 
Noting the Void Woken don't seem to register his presence. Reg register his presence. Oh, oh, yeah. You tell him to keep doing what he's doing. Really? I would re I would rather you stay in town. No way. Ma didn't leave me. I'm not leaving her. He performs a divine order salute. Now go out, Ma. Ah, they shall not pass. This kid is gonna get himself killed. God damn it. Why wasn't there like a pers persuasive uh, check there? I could pr persuade him to listen to me. Okay. It's time to loot the caravan. So we have a bull. Mm hmm. We have a dwarf. Anhar. That's your name? Magister Inquisitor. Ooh! Firestorm grenade. Healing potion. Oh, this is a really big one. Let's do like this. And uh, let's get the grenade over here. Give me the shield. And I would like to identify this. Please tell me it's an upgrade. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's a pretty big upgrade. Yeah. I mean, I lose a slot, but who the fuck cares? Did you see that? It was like double the armor. We got source over there. Corpse. So I get the feeling that the dwarves attacked the magisters to free the sorcerers. Uh, the sorcerers. And by removing their collars, they called in, like, the Voidwoken. I think. Nail bomb grenade. That's fine. Let's get this crate. Blank skill book water. Okay, interesting. Oh, Sabil, something for you to do. Other than eating corpses. Thank you. Water arrow. This goes to Iphen. One-handed axe. Whoa! Two strength, one constitution, one single-handed, one hydrosophist. This was made for me. I'm gonna equip this. I'm gonna sell these. It has every single stat I need. That's a one-handed axe. It looks fucking massive. Alright, whatever. Um, It says one-handed and I'm still holding the shield. That's all that matters. But what is up with all the poison over here? Wait, you had, like, supernova, didn't you? No. Uh, this burns it away completely, right? It doesn't come back. I could start clearing this out, but there's no reason to. Cooking station, okay. Oh, we have people here. So we made it into town. Kinda. Mm, take that, yeah. Those are healing mushrooms. Uh huh. Oh, you're burning that as well? That's fine. Oh, yeah, look, it's completely gone. I don't need to clear everything here. I'm not gonna. I'm not doing housework here. Cooking station, although, is kind of interesting. Maybe there's something I can cook? Uh, what about just... Um, I don't know. Fish? Void tainted mackerel. What happens then? I can't do that. What about a normal fish? This one is poisoned. And raw lamb? The rabbit? Dinner. Really? That's just plain dinner. Uh, pumpkin? Pumpkin soup. Yeah, okay, go do that. And the other one. Nice, nice. Okay, so we did something with that. Potato? We can probably make uh, just boiled potato, which does what? Constitution. That's fine. What about a normal fish? Oh, that's also dinner. That's kind of bland, isn't it? We have bread that's already cooked. We have carrots, grapes, we have ham. We can cook this, can't we? It's all just dinner. Okay. Raw slice of meat, set diseased. 
it becomes dinner. This. Okay, so we cook all the raw meat. We stop getting diseased by using it. But we have just dinner, and it's all dinner does is give us strength. Which is kind of boring. But let's get rid of all the raw meat here. Because we just cook it. What about the garlic? No. Didn't think so. So I don't want to turn the fish into uh, strength food. So the, f the fish seems to be the intelligence food. The dinner just seems to be strength. But what do I get finesse then? Pepper? No. Maybe I'll figure it out? Yeah, maybe. But uh, I kind of want to get rid of this corrupted fish, though. Um... Disgusting. Okay. You experience a flash of memory, <gasps> but not of the fish you ate. You stand at a barrier. It buzzes like a locust swarm, and, like the swarm it imitates, fills your heart with dread. Ah. Seven others stand with you, the short one and the fire breather among them. They gaze upon the portal, entranced and obsessed. Another of the seven, the graceful one's hands delicate as blown glass, reaches to the barrier. Ripples spread from where his fingers touch. Between each crest you glimpse nothingness, void. The buzz is silenced, the air still. The memory fades. What was that? That was just a piece of fish. Another memory emerges through the same view as before. The eight of you stand at the barrier, your eyes eight. upon the portal, theirs, the seven figures nod in unison and begin to chant. An Maflin Didrita, Vididrita Karim Rava. Are they talking about the gods? In that moment, darkness seizes you. You are paralyzed in place, arms akimbo and legs locked. The doors ripples part, revealing a black chasm, a window into the encroaching void. The sights melt away. Your vision of the void was brief but potent. You are not cold exactly, but empty, as if you might never again feel joy or sorrow or anything at all. What the fuck is with this fish? Maybe there's a limited amount of these? A vision consumes you. You see again through ancient eyes. You watch powerlessly as ribbons of source flow from you into them. Seven strands, one for each. Seven faces, seven contorted smiles, seven betrayers. That can't be the gods. The vision is cut short. Your consciousness is thrust violently from the past to the present, leaving you briefly dazed. Okay, I have a few more of these. You are lost in the past once again. Ahead of you, the black vortex swells upon the barrier. There is no wind, yet you can feel the maelstrom tugging at you. There's like a barrier and a void. I didn't the see it. seven a... conspirators release their grip, and you move to retaliate. But there will be no retribution. Not now. In unison, they raise their arms and turn their palms to you. They lift you from the ground and turn your body so that you face only void. The barrier has been broken. Howls and shrieks bombard your ears. No shriek you've ever heard could rival this cacophony. But just as the sound threatens to deafen you, you awaken to reality. So the seven threw somebody into the void? Really? Are we talking about the seven guards? The past sweeps about you until you are lost within it. The discordant symphony reaches its climb. With one coordinated gesture, the seven traitors thrust you into the yeah. void. The screams are silenced. There is only emptiness, loneliness. Time passes. Minutes, days, years. First, you fight the void. Then, you accept it. And finally, you welcome it. You are one with this realm, and it is one with you. The seven chose their path, and deigned to choose yours. They denied you your rightful graces. Now, you will choose their path. Ah. Their fate is written. The memory fades. Yet, you still feel the resolve of your host, the righteous anger, the expanse of the void. They are as real as the sea you have sailed and the source you command. This is interesting. I'm getting, like, background information about what happened with the gods from eating disgusting fish. What the fuck is that? How is that a thing? I threw some of those away, didn't I? Or I let other people eat them that were not uh, Sabeel. I'm kind of regretting that now. God damn it. So the seven threw somebody into the void. And now that person is getting retribution? I imagine. That's what's happening with the uh, the seven? 
Do they not know? They never told me that they knew the guy that was re responsible for the void. This is so interesting. Oh, we are in town. Rotten eggs. Who are you? Pidgey. Pidge. A scruffy kid bounds up and stands before you, hands on hips. He stares at your face, doubt screwing up his feet. You Ben Mez. Say that you are. Right up. Got a message for you. Chap called Baron Lavera wants to see you. Black Bull Tavern, first floor. The kid shoves his hands in his pockets and ambles off, whistling an off-key tune. Okay. So he's got his contacts to visit, and I'm sure Sabine is going to be interested in meeting those guys. Milk churn. Isn't that going to be heavy? Uh, it's why it weighs 20. It said 20. Heals 20. Wow. Maybe I could have uh, used that differently, like... Okay, so if I do this, and let's see here, milk churn. Let's do, where are my cups? Did I use them all up? I think I did. Shit. Mug. And where is the milk churn? Oh, come on. It should be here. Uh, I'm blind. What about if I do... Where is that thing? Go back. Let's do... Combine with... There we go. And we do... Mug. Can I get milk? No, I cannot. But this weighs 20. Why would I pick that up? It weighs a lot. Empty honey jar. Jar of honey. A beehive. Uh, where's that empty pot of thing? Empty jar of honey, this one. Oh, intelligence and heal. Nice, okay. So that's what I was lacking the last time I found this. Pumpkin... Pumpkin part. Well, we can make dinner out of this. It's fine. So the people are behind this bridge over here. Yeah. Oh, we have magisters. No, 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 no. We are not talking to these assholes. We're going to start a fight. But we need to get into town, though. Shit. What is this? Maester Siva. <gasps> Why would I kill Lucy in second most? No, 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 no. I need her to help me. Siva. The lizard hangs from the gibbet, her face blooded and her scales discolored. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. Welcome to Driftwood, God Woken. One bloody eye cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased. <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well, then. Cut me down. There is work to be done. Or indeed you could stand there gawping as if you were a cow ordered to dance a reel. <laughs> it is a masterful performance. I would applaud it, but well. Whisper that Melody said she could train you. Is that true? The Meister bears her teeth, stained a deep pink by her blood, and growls. Melody is unfortunately mistaken. Really? I cannot train you, but I can certainly help you on your path. As long as I am free of this rope. Uh, reach up to undo her restraints. Be quick about it. Before the Magister realizes their prize catch is about to slip through the net. Sure. Quickly slice through the restraints and help her down. Excellent. Now, if you'd be so kind as to gut that startled-looking Magister, it would be much appreciated. I must secure my home before they do any more damage. Oh, okay. It's... it's... Okay, so... She's calling reinforcements. Okay, so these guys are level what? Go away. Nine. Uh, let's move this here. So, this was unexpected. Uh, you all have magic armor, except for the dog. 
Hmm. I think I will do rain and then I will stun the dog. There we go. Silent Watcher. Oh, I didn't see you. Haste. Okay. Executioner. Uh, you have a lot of armor. A whole lot of armor. Well, let's get started then, shall we? Why do you keep moving this, you assholes? What? 29? Why is the chance to hit you so freaking low? Evading, evading, evading. Who is giving you that evading? Why are you so good at avoiding my hits? I don't understand. It just says evading. Dodging and movement speed increase. Dodging plus 90%. Well, this has to be scripted, right? Okay. Well, maybe we have to survive long enough and then something happens. We're not supposed to win this fight? Is that it? Yourself. Yeah, I miss all of them. What the fuck is going on here? I, I don't appreciate this at all. Alright, so we're gonna do Mend Metal. You are already hastened, aren't you? Yes. Let's do Fortify on Iphen. Since he missed the Mend Metal. And I will hit all four of you, I hope. Just in case. Magister Aegon. It is unfair that you have evading. Oh, you don't have it anymore. Okay, so maybe... Oh, you're about to kill her! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Sticky arrow. Stop it. You need to heal. Let's do fortify on Sibyl. Yeah, it's unlikely. Losa, why are they so strong? Frozen. I'm actually frozen. Global cooling. Are you... Okay, I don't know why you did that. To be honest, I don't really care. Why were they evading at the start there? That is unfair. It's completely unfair. I will yield to none. Mm-hmm. It's the first aid on Sabeel. Ah, shit! This is... I was not expecting this fight. Uh, resisted by magic armor. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. There we go. Sabil, I need you to survive. This is unfair. Why was the first turn like I could there was nothing I could do at the first turn. Okay, you're still wet. 
I'm gonna keep that keep it that way. Why aren't you shocked? Whoa. Yeah, you're not gonna kill me like that, buddy. No! Oh, shit. Executioner. She is the one that gives the evading. How am I supposed to kill her? Now they all have that aura again. Don't tell me I'm supposed to lose this fight. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm supposed to lose this fight. Which seems really, really stupid. Where is she? Executioner lady. 13% chance. 13%. 100%. He's not in range of her. Yeah. I imagine I fucked something up there. Oh, he's stunned. Ah, uh, I reset the death. Uh. Frost grenade. I'm very beefy, as you can tell. Yeah, the blessed thing is actually healing them a lot. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. What can I do here? I can actually shoot you. But does that matter? I'm about to lose this fight. Oh, well, there I go. Yeah, this executioner lady is nuts. How can she hit me from down there? Yeah, I, I, I'm dead. Okay, so we lost this fight. Apparently we were supposed to win that fight. Amazing, isn't it? Fuck. So maybe there's something we have to do. Because that evading aura makes it pretty much impossible to kill her. How, how is that fair? 90%? 90% dodging? Ah. Yeah, I probably have to do something else for now. Maybe there's a way I can get her away from her. The Executioner. But why is she so tough? Like, an evasive aura that gives everybody around her 90% dodge? It doesn't seem realistic. I must be doing something wrong. But, you know what? I think I'll pause. Small, vicious egg. Surrounded by a source. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop here. I don't know what to do. And that fight seemed impossibly strong. Uh, impossibly hard. But whatever. I will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully I figure this out. But until then, see ya.